Hi everyone, this video is dedicated to the master-slave function. The master-slave function allows you to open positions on multiple accounts with one click. So first, to set up our accounts, let's open the position control window and go to the accounts tab. Double-clicking on the account name opens a window with the settings for this account. Here, in the Role field, we need to provide a status to our accounts, the master or slave. The master account is the primary account, and all trades from it will be duplicated to all slave accounts. So, for the Test1 account, we will select the master role, and for all other accounts, we will choose the slave role. Thus, all trades from the Test1 account will be duplicated on all the slave accounts. Next, we move on to the trading module. Note that the master-slave function also works in the trading DOM. In the setup menu, we open the slave accounts window and add our slave accounts. Next, specify the size multiplier. It determines the position size on slave accounts. Suppose we want to trade with two lots on the master account and 3 on the slave account test 2. To do this, specify the multiplier 1 and a half and click Add. And suppose that on the test 3 account, we want to trade with 4 lots. For this, we specify a multiplier of 2. And in the upper left corner, we see a list of our slave accounts. For example, let's open a long position. It should be noted that moving bracket orders is available only 10 seconds after they are placed. So in the Slave Accounts panel, we see open positions on our slave accounts for 3 and 4 contracts respectively. In the Open Positions panel, we can see all our open positions for all accounts, their volume, and current result. If we click on one of the slave accounts, we can quickly switch to that account. For instance, click on the Test 3 account to switch to this account. Or we can do the same through the Open Positions window. Easily switch between different accounts. So let's say we want to close this position. But we only want to close it on the Master account and the Test 2 account. To do this, we deactivate Slave account Test 3 and click Trade Out. We should note that the Trade Out All button does not work on master accounts. We see that the position on the master account and the Test 2 account is closed, but the position on the Test 3 account remains open. That's all. Don't hesitate to get in touch with our technical support. You can find contact information in the description below the video. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.